So far we have seen what CAMs are and what are the various types of CAMs like wedge CAM, plate CAM, disc CAM and cylindrical CAM. Let us see different types of followers now. Uh, we can classify the follower motion according to the path they follow. If the followers are going along a straight line back and forth, they are called reciprocating followers. While if the displacement is angular like this back and forth, then they are called oscillating followers. Further, the followers can be classified according to the end which is in contact with the cam. For example, here we have a follower at the end of which a roller is attached so that the friction between the follower and the cam can be minimized. So this is called as a roller follower. Uh, a roller follower cannot very closely follow the profile of the cam. But uh, for that one can use something like this, so called knife edge follower, where a sharp edged follower is resting on the cam profile and follows it very closely. Of course the price we pay here would be additional friction. This is the third type of follower called as a flat face or mushroom follower where a flat surface of the follower is resting on the cam. And finally here is an oscillating follower. It is undergoing an angular displacement and uh, of course one can imagine different end conditions here. One shown here is a roller but uh, we could as well have a knife edge or a flat face over here. Let us now see some of the basic definitions associated with cams and followers using a simple cam. A simple cam is usually a metal plate with a simple profile primarily made up of just straight lines and circular arcs. The purpose here is simplicity of fabrication and not the precision of a function that governs displacement against time. So we are just interested in raising the follower through a certain height, maybe holding it up there for a while and bringing it back. We are not necessarily concerned about how it reaches that height. Let us now see the motion of uh, the cam and follower using this simple cam here. Uh, you would see this knife edge follower is rising on the green portion, returning on the red portion and just staying in its own place in the yellow portion. Uh, these three uh, parts of the cam surface perform three different functions. The yellow portion keeps it in one place. This is called as dwell because the follower stays, dwells in one position. The green portion raises the follower so it is called the rise and the red portion brings it back so it is called the return portion. Some more definitions. A circle of minimum radius drawn around the center of the cam that is tangential to the cam profile is called as the base circle. This tip of the cam has a radius given to it. That portion is called the nose of the cam and the two sides are called as the flanks. Flanks could be arcs of circles or they could even be straight lines to make the fabrication even simpler. Finally, some definitions related to the follower. A point that represents the follower is called as a trace point. This could be the tip of a knife edge follower or it could be the center of roller for a roller follower. The path traced by the trace point around the cam profile or related to cam profile is called as the pitch curve. The pitch curve and cam profile are the same for knife edge followers. The angle made by the normal drawn to the cam profile and the center line of the follower is called as the pressure angle. This is the line along which the force of normal reaction acts. So pressure angle tells us what part of that force, what component of that force is used for raising the follower. The remaining component is of no use. It just presses the follower against the bearing. And finally the distance between center line of the follower and the center of the cam is called as the offset.